Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the voice of reason. Today, I want to discuss the threat to America. I want to talk about some of these radical left-wing organizations that right now are attempting to create a unitary one-party state and essentially destroy the republic. Now, there's been a lot of questions that I have received in regards to funding. Where do these left-wing groups receive their funding? How do they make money? For instance, in Detroit, Michigan, there is an upcoming event, the Peoples for Palestine. It's a big convention in Detroit, Michigan. Now, if you look at the conference center, you look at the flags, you look at all the money that is being spent on this conference, and it's significant. Obviously, it's it's uh, in terms of the participants, it appears to be very well done and very well funded. So how do they get this money? Is it uh, from Saudi Arabia? Is it from Qatar? Well, a lot of it's from right here in the United States. And yes, some of these organizations do receive funding from the Middle East. A lot of funding, in fact. But specifically, here in the United States, there are these large groups that have massive endowments and they give a large percentage of this money to radical leftist groups here in the United States. So I'm going to read you off a few. These are the top dogs, the big dogs. The Novo Foundation, the Ford Foundation, yes, the Ford Foundation. Some people may ask, well, how did the Ford Foundation become an incubator for radical left-wing ideology and funding? Well, it initially wasn't that. When it was originally founded, it was not that. But because of the leadership, and the leadership in these organizations go through their indoctrination processes here in the United States, in these big colleges and universities, they eventually become that. And we've seen a much uh, faster quickening uh, in these organizations trending towards this far left-wing ideology, especially diversity, equity, and inclusion, and what have you. So let's continue. The uh, Ford Foundation, I already said that. The, uh, obviously, George Soros' Open Societies Foundation. the Wilberforce Foundation, the Rockefeller Brothers Foundation, the Angelica Foundation, the Bullet Foundation, the Wallace Global Fund, the Silicon Valley Community Foundation, the California Endowment, the Gill Foundation, the Bauman Family Foundation, And finally, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Now, the facilitator of all this money from these various foundations, one of the most insidious that probably many of you have not even heard about. So all those foundations I have just talked about, these charitable, quote-unquote, organizations, a lot of that money goes to an organization known as Arabella Advisors of the New Venture Fund. This is a dark money giant. If you go to their website, again, Arabella Arabella Advisors, the Arabella Advisory Group, Go into their leadership section. 
go into the bios of each individual, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. These are the manipulators. These are the individuals that go into high net worth families, usually the inheritors of some of these large wealthy families, and they manipulate, they convert these younger eventual heirs to the empire to their left-wing ideology. That's what happens. Now, some of you may hear these organizations and think, well, I've given money to some of these organizations. Some of these organizations sound very legitimate. Most people who listen to National Public Radio will hear these organizations as giving to NPR. Well, we all know what NPR is. And that and that should inherently warn you. But this is where they're getting their money. This is how it happens. And that money trickles down to other groups and then finally makes their way into localized cellular organizations of BLM, Antifa, and even more uh, radical uh, groups such as the Earth Liberation Front and what have you. It's where eventually a lot of this money finds itself. A lot of it uh, goes to radical grassroots organizations within the indoctrination centers themselves, the colleges. And that's where these cellular organizations start to, uh, to be created. These are the feeder organizations. And they're constantly creating new radical left-wing groups inside of these indoctrination centers. And right now it's happening. They have a cause. They find a cause that will attract young people. And the young people are already in these centers of indoctrination, the universities, quote-unquote universities. And then the fire starts. So do your own research. Look up those, some of those organizations that I have talked about, especially that one. That organization, Arabella, is a threat to the Republic, beyond a shadow of a doubt. So more to come. Thank you for joining us today. As always, have a good day.